Hello, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. And today I'm going to be talking about how to use the iOS version of Microsoft Word to create a document. And this might come up if you're on the road and you have the Word app installed and you want to uh, just create a new document or get started on something. And then maybe when you return home or you return to the office, you can work on it using the desktop version of Microsoft Word. And for your reference, uh, while the iOS version of Microsoft Word is very similar to the Android version, there are a couple differences, particularly when it comes to saving files and using menu selections. But I won't get into that now, just let's talk about doing Word. So what you're looking at right now is the screen that you see when you uh, set up the application and then you log into your Office 365 account. And in order to use all the features of Microsoft Word on iOS, you will need to have a Microsoft account. Uh, if you don't do it, even though the app is free, the abilities will be very limited. So I'm assuming that you do have a Microsoft account and you'll be able to see something like this. So you can see my name at the top. Uh, it's very important that the OneDrive is shown there, at, a little bit down for, on the screen. And the reason why this is so important is because OneDrive is where your files will be saved. You won't be saving them locally on your iOS device such as an iPhone or an iPad except in very unusual circumstances. So uh, that needs to be that needs to be set up and for anyone who does have a Microsoft account it will be set up. So let's create an account. As you can see in the bottom row there's a couple different icons and the one that we want to use is the new icon. So just tap that. And one thing that's really cool is uh, Microsoft Word even on this little screen shows you all kinds of preset templates that you can use to create a document. I was playing around with some of them earlier on and it includes everything from you know a, uh, a trip diary to a resume to even doing like uh, an MLA style paper like a, a research report and while I don't think people would type up an entire report on their tiny little screen uh, maybe uh, this is something where you can start it on your screen and then pick it up later on when you get home or back to your uh, back to your dormitory or whatever to finish up working on that particular document. And then another thing that you should know is that if you're using Microsoft Word on an iPhone or an iPad, you can of course use a Bluetooth keyboard to actually do some serious text entry and then uh, manipulate the screen using your finger. So I know people that do this, it's another way to to use Microsoft Word and certainly if you don't have access to a desktop computer or a laptop or can't afford one, this is a fine option to use just to uh, use your phone or use your iPad or something like that. But in this case we're just going to create a blank document, tap the blank document icon, and then you'll see the screen. And uh, my keyboard is showing up here, so you can see some options there. It looks a little bit confusing, but actually it's pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to start typing using the virtual keyboard. And uh, this is a test document. Okay, that's pretty good. And one trick that you can use to really speed up your typing is to use the microphone icon, which appears in the upper left corner of the of the keyboard and this will let you speak instead of having to hunt down these tiny little keys on your on your screen and let's give a little example so I'm going to tap the microphone icon the quick brown fox the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog period so I was able to use the microphone to input that text which is a lot faster than I could do it if I was typing it on my own so another common thing to do is you want to format your text. So let's select, use your finger to press down on Fox. And then you can use the select option there. And then what you can do is, if you wanted to, you can use one of these options here like cut, copy, delete. Um, new comment means you can leave a comment on that particular word to look at later on. Or maybe if you're collaborating with someone, they can take a look at it. But in this case, I just want to bold it. So you can see right below the text entry area, there's a bunch of icons, and these should look pretty familiar if you've used Microsoft Word before. And of course, to bold something, you press the B. If you wanted to underline it, you'd press the underline U. If you wanted to change the color, you'd press the A with the uh, bar below it. So it's going to give me some theme colors. Let's say I wanted to make that a nice blue color. I can do that. To to make this little menu go away, there's a little upside down triangle in the right side there. Tap on that, and then it disappears. 
So that's a very simple, basic typing uh, trick. And then also, if you want to get rid of the keyboard, like let's say you want to look at the text in its entirety, there's a little keyboard icon on the right side of the keyboard. Press that, and it disappears. Now, one thing you notice is the text got a lot smaller, because this is the normal print view. That is, if you printed this out, this is what your document would look like. You'll notice on the upper part of this bar is an icon uh, that looks like kind of like a, uh, three lines inside of the corners of a square. It's right next to the search icon. Tap that and it changes to mobile view. And mobile view would be as if you're sending it to somebody else to look at on their phone or if you're opening up there. You can see everything kind of gets a little bit bigger. The margins are a lot closer. And this is another way to read the document if you want to have a better look at that. Uh, a couple other things that we can take a look at. Let's get rid of the mobile view, go back to print view. The icon that looks like an A with a pencil next to it, that's where you can do a lot of editing and inserting and other things. And basically, if you use the desktop version of Microsoft Word, you know the ribbons and the tabs like Home and Insert and Review, you can access those tabs kind of using that button, the A with a little pencil. So I'm going to tap that right now. See if it comes through. Okay, so this is the Home tab. And you can see if you scroll down, there's a whole bunch of different options that you would normally see if you were using the if you were using the desktop version. It's not everything, but it's quite a few of them, including the bold and whatnot. The reason why they're not highlighted is because I haven't actually highlighted any text. So let's say that I wanted to uh, do another text formatting thing. I could highlight the word dog, hold it down, select it, and then do things to it. Like I could add a highlight color, I could italicize it like that. All right. Um, and then the other thing you can do, let's get over here. You see where it says home and there's like a little two little triangles pointing up and down. That's basically a menu where you can select the different tabs. So if you've used Microsoft Word before, one of the most important ribbons or tabs is the insert. So I'm going to select that one. This lets me insert something like a new page break. I just did that. If I wanted to, I could insert pictures. These would come from your phone, and it will ask you where it would like to uh, access your photos. I'm not going to show you the whole thing right now, but basically it would take the photos that are on your phone, and you could insert one of them. So that's pretty cool. And then you can do other things, too. You can put in special shapes. Oh, there are the photos coming up. So there's all kinds of different things that you can insert in there. Um, which are pretty advanced. The small screen makes it a little bit difficult to work on it, but if you wanted just to put a placeholder or just get started, you can do that. Header and footer, of course, if you wanted to add a, you know, at, put a header at the top, like maybe the title of the paper or whatever you're working on, you can do that. So there's quite a few options on the insert tab. And then of course, if you go to like the review tab, they have things like proofing tools. So that would be checking the spelling and whatnot. So anyways, once you're done with all of that, uh, what you want to do is you want to save your document. In the upper left corner, you'll see a couple different icons. The arrow takes you back to the kind of the, the main menu screen, but the one next to it looks like a piece of paper with three dots. That's where all the options are for adding names, exporting and printing and whatnot. So let's say that we want to change the name of this document. So I just tap name. I'm going to put it in OneDrive personal. And actually, let's go back and take a look. If I wanted to, I could save it on the phone or I could save it in another cloud service. But most people, they'll just be using their OneDrive account. So let's do that. I have a special folder for documents and I'm going to call this, uh, let's see here, document, whoops, I'm deleting the name here. Okay, test doc. And then number four. Okay, and then press save in the upper right corner. It's connecting. It's connecting to OneDrive. It's saving it. And you can see in the top of the bar there, it shows the name of the document. Once you're done, and by the way, this document is, let me just get back here. This is a test document. Uh, once you're done, press the little arrow at the very top left corner. That takes you back to the menu view. So here are the different things that I've been working on today. Um, it's under the recent tab. And if I wanted to open it up again, I could just tap it. I would go in and start editing. Of course, because it's saved in OneDrive, when I get back home or back to the office, I can open it up in Microsoft Word on my desktop, connected to the same account, and start editing it 
that way. So that's a very brief overview of how to use Microsoft Word on your iOS device using the free app and it will have to be connected to a Microsoft account in order to take advantage of all the features. But it's a pretty useful tool to have, especially if you're constantly on the road or you need to get started on something or you have to hand something in, you need to do a little editing. So that's how to use the editing features and creating a new document. In some of the other videos I'll show, I'll get into things like opening up an attachment or sending an attachment from your phone using Microsoft Word, as well as all kinds of other neat tricks. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Word, we have a book in the In 30 Minutes series that talks all about Microsoft Word. It's called Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. Check it out at in30minutes.com. And thanks so much for watching.